and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a special type of video. Um, it's an off-the-cuff video, which means I'll record it and upload it. There is no fancy editing skills. You won't see no intro symbol at the beginning, nothing like that. Now, I did actually say on Wiki Wednesday, if anyone wants to see this behind me, just, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll show you what I've got. There was a few people that messaged me on Messenger, so I'm going to give you guys a, a little look of what I've got. Today I actually went to Dublin because I had vouchers to use before the beginning of March and I was saving them for the World Eaters, but they come up in pre-order and I got them pre-order, so I actually just went and got a few bits and pieces. So I'm going to show you what I've got behind me and what I've got to work through. But thank you for like everyone that sent me those messages via Messenger, this, you know, I enjoy showing showing off what, what's here and what's not here. So just sit back and relax and we'll have a, a, a rummage through. For all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a second. Right, to start off with, Lord Invocatus, or you can be his Chaos Lord. I have 10 of the new world uh, corn berserkers, 10 jackals, of the eight bound and of course I have the man himself Mr. Angron I have oh my goodness me Kingpin and Omega Red I have Wolverine and Sabretooth I have the Green Goblin now this lot, I'm not going to be bringing it all down because there's so much here, but I've got Raptors, Chaos uh, Raptors. So there's actually two boxes of those. Two boxes of the old Corn Berserkers. I think there's 12 in the box there, so um, I have two boxes of the Kinetic Spiders because Alex loved those models so much. I have the Farsia on a Skyrunner, which is a, an absolutely amazing looking sculpt. I have a librarian to put together. I have a Chaos Lord in Terminator Armour, but the only problem with that is it doubles up as a Chaos Sorcerer, so I need to get some more of those so I can have one for each god. I have a box of Striking Scorpions, but that's fine cast, so they won't be done on camera. They still have a box of Raptors. I have a Fertide Bloat Drone. I think there's three of those. There's two there. Yeah, there's a third one down here. Box of Termagants. I have two boxes of Plague Marines. I have a box of Homagants. And I have a box of Gargoyles. I'm building Gargoyles off camera at the moment, so it's not too bad. There's another box of Chaos Terminators. Blight Lord Terminators. Uh, Seekers, Chaos Knights, Horrors, Horrors, Chaos Knights, Dire Avengers, Wraith Guard, Elder Guardians. I have a Contempt of Dreadnought, two more boxes of Seekers, Terminator Assault Squad, Terminator Tactical Squad, Primaris Hellblasters, Deathwing Command Squad, Devastator Squad. <laughs> I have the whole box of this, the whole of Marvel Crisis Protocol to put together. This is a Eldari Combat Patrol. I have a Kinaptic Doomstalker. I have another Venerable Dreadnought, but it's easy to put together. Box of Tyranny Warriors, Gen Steelers. I have these mages from Frostgrave, which is interesting sculpts. Some Storm Boys, a box of Plague Bearers, a box of Xenophorps, or Venom, Venom, Venom Thropes, whatever they're called. I have the Silent King. I have the Great Demons of Zench. What's this guy here? Let's get these down. Sorry, guys. Ah, I have Bellacore. An amazing, amazing model. I have space for so to put all of this now. What's this one here? Oh, Avatar of Kahin. I have... This is a Combat Patrol for Tyranids, where I've got one of the Hive Timers from. I have the Shadow Throne Box. Piety and Pain. I have the Sanct Sanctum Guard, which is the uh, sister's Christmas box. 
uh, Combat Patrol Cal Space Marines and their two recruit editions of Warhammer 40k. So as you can see, there's a fair amount here to keep you busy. Um, some things like the Raptors, there's two boxes of those. Now I've had one box for, for a while now. I got the second box recently. Um, the the idea for that is because that box can be made into two different things. So when I make that box, I'll put the I'll make one as Walk Talons and one as Raptors. So you can see how to build both, if it makes sense. Uh, things like the Death Guard Plague Marines, I'll do one off camera, if, probably before I do the one on camera. And the reason why is that if, if there's any mistakes off camera, I can actually say, oh, this is what I did wrong, or this is what's wrong with the sprue, or whatever it is. And then I can actually bring it to you before I actually, you know, before before I do it on camera, I go, oh, actually, this is a mistake. Um, so at the moment, I'm gluing gargoyles off camera, and they are very, very easy. This is one part putting your arms together, it's a bit of pain in the hole, but it's very simple to do. There's, there's ways that I've discovered to do that. In hindsight, if I would have had, say, two boxes of flayed ones and put one together off camera, I would have then discovered the one that you see that I built on camera, you would, I would have done that off camera and you would have seen how then I would have come up with the idea how to do them easier. So there's another thing I need to get is a box of flayed ones so I can show you how to do those easier on camera. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a fair amount here. Now the plan is, I'm still arguing for my holiday. I actually have 10 days of holiday to have at some point within the next month. Has to be had. So it's two weeks basically in the next month. The plan is to do a video and clear all of my Christ protocol. And I don't know about the Shadow Throne or the Piety of Pain box because they're apparently push fit. So I don't know if that's going to be an interesting view or not. I don't know. I mean, if you guys want to see me build those boxes, then just chuck on below and let me know. But definitely Marvel Crisis Protocol. Get all them built in one go. Sorry, I'm turning my head and the lights are reflecting off my, my face. Um, yeah, definitely get that built in one go. And you see all the Marvel, other Marvel Crisis Protocol bits I have here to build. I haven't bought anything else Marvel Crisis Protocol yet because I want to get these guys done first. And there are still some amazing models to get for them. Amazing models. Um... Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there is an absolute mountain here. The aim, yeah, the, the aim, like I said, I, I try and do one box a week off camera. So, just say, for example, as well, the Corn Berserkers now, these old boxes I need to do off camera. Because I know, guarantee, some of you guys had these floating around, but you're not going to want to look at these. You're going to look at the new guys, which is yeah, fair enough. Um, I was planning to do the Corn Berserkers box of those on camera before the world leaders were released but then the record all arrived up and that put everything behind and then the banshees and they were the ones to do off the banshees but so they've just been off camera now but yeah there's a there's a hell of a lot here for me the balance is it's not even paint side of it for me the balance is trying to get stuff built that's equal and fair to the armies i have but also, like if I'm building, say, say I build the Death Guard Marines, I'm also building, say, for the Space Marines, so Alex can tell Alex, Alex has a different choice when we come to Battle Report. Um, I've, they got, do have some fine costs, like this dude. That's Modi, say his name. Get a couple of C's finger. His finger is all, that's why I hate that fine cast. The finger pointing out is all bent. And I dare not mess with it in case it just snaps off. So he's looking like, looks like he's going, uh uh, not on my watch, son. But yeah, things like that I just glue off camera. So, like striking scorpions, they'll be done off camera because it's just fine cast. There's no, there's no fault to them. It's just arm, body, head done. Whereas, like the banshees, there's lots of fiddly bits that go together and to make one banshee. So, same with the reapers, same with you know, terminators, same pretty much everything. Um, yeah, let's. Yeah, <laughs> and there'll still be more to come. There'll still be more to come because uh, Air Hobbies is a dangerous site for me because I, I, I spend 60 quid a week or so, get two or three boxes. So the aim is if I get three boxes in, 
I'll glue one off camera. It may not be the one that's coming, it might be same from here, but then the other two are to go on camera. You know, I've got two connected spiders you've seen there, I've built them on camera before, so I just, I just need to do them off camera, it's not, not difficult. I've also got a magazine, which I've just remembered about. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a lot here, an absolute, it's a mountain load. Now, if I'm if I'm doing this full time, it'd just be, it'd still be a mountain load, but it won't be as bad, I'll be plowing through it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, found it at eye-opening, <laughs> eye-opening amount of models I have here, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, absolutely nothing. And turn your notifications on because you don't miss anything I produce then. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for, for the guys that have uh, messaged me and asked me to show this off. And please guys, everyone smash the thumbs up button because it, it triggers YouTube to share this video to more people, which brings more people into the channel. Thank you guys. Until next time, take it easy.